program using a 7 segment display is how to convert a 16 bit binary value which we have assumed to be an unsigned integer. So you cannot use inputs like f, 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 h. It has to be an unsigned number starting with 0. So we have chosen our input to be 00 AC which corresponds to a BCD value of 0172. So the control word what we will be using is ATH which again specifies that port A, port B, port C are output ports. We, before writing the program we have written down the 7 segment display table which gives us all the values corresponding to the numbers 0 to 9 and also for A the letters A, B and C. So in the data segment we will be defining an array which contains all the 7 segment uh, codes corresponding from 0 to 9 and also A, B and C. So if the input that we have given uh, as the binary number is 0, 4, 3, 2, we expect the answer as 1, 2, 3, 4. This can be obtained by continuously dividing the number NUM by a divisor of 10. So after division, the quotients will be collected in the accumulator and the remainders will be collected in the DX register. So from the DX register, each time after division, the remainders are transferred to an array called N of SI, where SI is the index for the uh, array N defined in the data segment register. The array S corresponds to the seven segment codes of the actual answer that we are expecting. So an S will be used only for display purposes and N will be used to store the actual answer co corresponding to the binary value that is specified in NUM. So the division will be performed four times corresponding to the four digits in the original NUM number. So each time the divisor which is 10 uh, uh, is, uh, is used and AX value will be, uh, will be used for division. So AX divided by DI, the quotient will be in AX, the remainder will be in DX. So before division it is necessary to clear the value of DX register. So that is why we have written the instruction as move dx comma 00. So after div uh, dividing the first remainder is transferred to n of si then the si value is incremented to get the next remainder from dl into the next location pointed by si. So the division is going to be repeated four times and after division the, the remainders are stored in the array n of si and then each remainder is going to be replaced by its 7 segment code by using the extra instruction XLAT. Now what XLAT does is it finds out the address corresponding to BX plus AL. For example if the first remainder is 4, 4 corresponds to a 7 segment code of 99. So what XLAT does is BX plus AL that value or, or that address contains the code 99. It will replace the value AL equal to 4 with the value AL equal to 99 and this will be repeated for all the remaining numbers in the required answer. So coming back to the and then each of the answer, each of the digits in the final answer is displayed one by one and to insert gaps in between each digit we can also use uh, an array defined as BLK or blank. So as we can see initially in the data segment we have specified blank db 0, 0, 0 ffh four times to indicate that blank will be inserted four times between each digit of the required answer when it is going to be displayed. Now coming back to the execution of the program for which we will be using a display procedure and a delay procedure. So and the, also there is another requirement of this program that the answer will be uh, displayed uh, count number of times from left to right and count number of times from right to left. Here we have specified the count value. If you have specified the count value as 2, then it moves from right to left 2 times and also from left to right 2 times. Now here we will be going on to the output. We are executing the program right now. Debug. G. Since we have given the input as 00AC, the answer that we are expecting is 0172. So you can see that it moves two times from right, left to right and now it has to move two times from right to left.